Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group. But what I want to do today is take you on a test drive. So next to me here, I have a 2024 Honda Ridgeline. We'll look at the interior, the exterior, some of the updates for 2024, and see if this might just be the perfect pickup truck for you. Okay, so we're behind the wheel of the 2024 Honda Ridgeline. So let's go for a little spin around. Now we do that by selecting on our shift by wire system here, it's just buttons. So what that means is it frees up a ton of space for this redesigned center console here. So you simply just click it into drive, reverse, park from here, it makes it really easy. And like I said, frees up a ton of space for the cup holders. Now, beyond that, let's talk about updates for the 24 model the biggest one being this this is the new trim it's the trail sport so you may have seen some of the other trail sport models in the honda lineup and now they've added it to the ridge line so this isn't a full-blown off-roading machine but they wanted to give you sort of a little hint of that and the biggest thing being they added a little bit of underbody protection for the oil pan they've also gone and added the general grabber tires so that's going to be a little bit more of an off-road tire but really from driving around today it doesn't really make a lot of noise and it's not a super noisy tire which i was kind of expecting when i hopped in but from there, the Trail Sport is gonna get the diffused sky blue pearl, which looks really cool on this truck, and it's only available in the Trail Sport trim. Now, a few other little changes for 24. The center console has kind of been reworked here, and you do get a lot of space. The center console is very deep, and it is very convenient and nice for you if you're bringing stuff with. So what powers the Honda Ridgeline? Now the engine is going to be the V6 and this is gonna be a nine speed automatic transmission. I see a lot in the comments that people aren't maybe loving that the Canyon or the Colorado or even the Tacoma is gone with a turbocharged four cylinder, but this is just gonna keep the naturally aspirated V6. And it's gonna get very similar fuel economy to those four cylinder competitors. This is not really the standard off-road or truck. It's not a body on frame design. It's more built off the Honda Odyssey than anything. But don't let that fool you. This can still do plenty of truck stuff. Now the configuration is only gonna be one way. It's gonna be the four door with the just over five foot bed. So it's still gonna give you a towing capacity of about 5,000 pounds. And while that may be down a little bit from its competitors, if you think 5,000 pounds, you can still get the fishing boat to the lake, use the utility trailer, maybe you're hauling some four wheelers around, there's still a lot of usability out of that. Now in the truck bed, that's really where the Honda Ridgeline shines, I think. It's really cool. It's kind of like a jack of all trades back there. Not only does it fold down like a standard tailgate, but you can actually open it sideways. So that gives you more room to enter and exit into the bed. It seems kind of goofy, but when you kick it open, you can actually reach towards the back of the truck bed. And it does make it pretty easy if you're loading up maybe wood chips or doing something that way. It's a little bit more convenient than having the tailgate in the way. Now, even beyond that, there's an underfloor storage back there. So it's actually a watertight storage area and it's a lot bigger than it looks. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it would give you a lot of room in the back there if you want to haul some stuff around, keep it watertight and keep it out of sight. Now the Trail Sport model, this one will also get a power sliding rear window back there. And in the truck bed, you're gonna have lighting in there. You're gonna have plenty of tie down space as well. And it just seems pretty usable. One thing I noticed is you don't really get the fender or the wheel liner like you do in some of the other pickups. It's a pretty low area. And I think it's something like you can fit a full sheet of drywall back there, which you can't really do in some of the other mid-sized trucks. So let's talk about the interior comfort. Now the Trail Sport gets these really cool leather appointed seats that are going to be heated and power for the driver and for the passenger. Now you've also got the Trail Sport logo in the headrest there with all the orange stitching that does go onto the leather wrapped steering wheel. Now one of my favorite features in any new vehicle is the heated steering wheel, which the Trail Sport also gets. If you're gonna be doing a little bit of off-roading maybe, going camping with this model, the heated seats and steering wheel is really cool and definitely something for me that would be pretty hard to give up once you have it. But inside, comfort-wise, like I said, it's extremely quiet. I was expecting a little bit more road noise, kind of it's pothole season, it's road construction season here in Minnesota, but the ride is quiet, it's really comfortable, and it's something you'd expect from a Honda vehicle. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to not know that you weren't in a mid-size SUV versus being in a pickup truck. It doesn't have that rough ride. When you hit those bumps and you kind of get the dual reverberation through some of the regular pickups, you don't get that in the Ridgeline. You just get like you're in a Honda Pilot or driving around in a Honda Passport, and that's really nice and comfortable. 
If you're someone who's in the truck, 90% of the time you maybe don't need it to do full truck things, this is the perfect vehicle. It could be the weekend hero, you can haul the toys around, you can bring the fishing boat to the lake, yet it's gonna be quiet and comfortable and pretty much feel like a mid-size SUV for your day-to-day -day usage. And now inside the infotainment screen here is awesome. It is lightning fast, it's very responsive, and I've got wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. So I've got my phone hooked up, Google Maps, Spotify, text messaging, all that good stuff. And I've also got hands-free on the steering wheel here. So I can click that button and it's actually gonna voice activate the system. So my attention is focused on the road ahead. Now, a few other things in here. This one will get the dual climate control, which is really nice. And I've got wireless charging for my phone. So with the wireless CarPlay, put my phone down there on the charger. It's all ready to go when I hop out of the truck. Now, one of the other cool things is you kind of have a half digital gauge cluster here. So the one side range and fuel, your speed and time, all your audio settings, all that stuff is right here on the steering wheel controlled. And it makes it convenient and easy to see and get a hold of your pertinent information. And then there is a lot of Honda sensing safety equipment built into this truck. So you can actually see that in the settings. If you don't want that, or you feel like maybe it's too intrusive, you can actually turn all that stuff off. But the stuff that's really nice, the blind spot monitoring system, there's emergency braking, there's also adaptive cruise control. That's something that once you have it, if you're doing those cabin trips, you're doing a lot of highway driving, you set four, three, two, one car length distances ahead of you, and it's gonna keep that distance on the road. It's really convenient, it's a really safe system, and that paired with everything else, definitely kind of takes a load off when you're driving around and makes it pretty comfortable. So a few other things the Trail Sport adds, this one does get the sunroof up above. So if I actually click the unlock button on the key fob and hold it, it will lower all the windows and open the sunroof for me. So it was hot this morning when I came up to the truck, I clicked that, cooled it off nicely, and then you can kick on your automatic climate control once you get in the truck and bring those windows back up. But just kind of one of those cool little Easter egg features. You're also gonna have a remote start standard on the key fob. So there is a lot of stuff. I don't think we touched on everything just because there is a lot in the Honda Ridgeline. There's a lot of different trim levels. If you wanna go up from here, there's actually more equipment you can add or you can go down a step and even take away a little bit of equipment, but let's touch on the MSRP. Now this one comes in around $46,000. So there's trim levels under this if you don't wanna spend quite as much and there is trim levels above it if you're looking for even more equipment. But I think the Trailsport gives you a nice mix of day-to-day -day usability and great safe equipment that really makes it a nice, comfortable ride to use pretty much all the time. You're getting wireless Apple CarPlay, I think a really cool looking truck. You're still keeping the V6 with the really nice nine speed automatic. And I think the diffuse sky blue looks awesome on this truck as well. So there's a lot of ways to configure one or pick through the trim levels, but if you're looking for a truck that can kind of do it all, yet you're not sacrificing day-to-day -day comfort and ride and just the quietness in the interior, I think the Honda Ridgeline is definitely one to come out, take for a spin, see what you think. Now that was just a quick drive and look at the 24 Ridgeline. If you have any other questions or you'd like more information, you can visit us online at walzerhonda.com or stop by anytime, we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.